I my barber, and we're gonna get rid of this whole thing right here. Good morning! It's gonna look interesting, huh? Guess what's happening today? I want to pluck out one of the longest ones and measure it to see how long it is. And I've only trimmed it like twice. Like trimmed like just a teensy bit. You guys. Kyle shaving his beard! It's gonna be gone. <laughs> Finally! Today, like in just a couple hours. But before we go to do that, I am actually going to go get my eyebrows done. So I'm gonna leave for that right now. And then Kyle has an appointment too. And then after that, we're gonna go to his beard shaving appointment. Everybody give this video a thumbs up right now. Listen, we listened to you guys. We listened. We know everybody wants to shave his beard. So, I don't want to shave my beard. <laughs> I don't like it. I like having a beard. Having a beard this long is not something that I like or enjoy. Also, I'm not wearing my hat like this. I just put it on so I could eat my cereal without my hair getting in my food. But yeah, I, the beard, I liked it when it was like under an inch, but once you start hitting like the four inch mark and beyond, nah, it ain't that, it ain't that fun. It's, it's a lot more work. It's, it gets annoying because like I get all these kinky hairs and I like want to pluck them all out and yeah. And then it just, it's, every time I like lay on a pillow, it's like, it's just, it's not fun. I'm glad I grew it out though. But if like long term, what I want is like, like that. That's what I want long term. It's like not to have a crazy beard. Just have like a little bit of a beard, you know? But I'm glad I finally grew it out once in my life. Probably never again, because I know what it's like now. You know, you never know till you try. So I figured I might as well try to grow it out. But I'm uh, super excited to get it shaved off. I'm going to the barber that I used to use when I was in the Air Force, but I never had him shave my face because I always shaved it myself. But I figured, I love the barber that I went to. His name is George, he's pretty awesome, he's a dope guy. So a uh, big cut barber shop here in Las Vegas off of Craig Road and like near the 15. If you go there, George is awesome. So I'm gonna have him cut my face up, cut it up real nice. And then I might have him like touch up some of like the ends of my hair. We'll see. Yeah, I'm super excited. I haven't seen George in a year. I called him back. I was like, yo, I was like, this is Kyle, the YouTuber kid that was in the Air Force. He's like, oh yeah, I remember you. And I'm like, sweet. So, because we would always chat and everything. He thought it was cool that I did YouTube. So, we're going to go and make him a star of the YouTube channel now because he gets to finally shave the beard. So, if you guys are looking for a barber in Las Vegas, hit up George at Big Cut Barbershop. I'm about to head to my VA appointment and McKenna is about to get home from getting her eyebrows done So we're just gonna miss each other and then as soon as I get done with my appointment We have to go to the barber McKenna really wanted to get photos taken of us Like a couple photos with me having the beard and the long hair and everything before I shaved the beard off We just didn't have time for it. So we didn't end up doing it, but it is what it is Because I was like, well, I don't want to keep putting it off just so we can go get photos taken and then yeah so, we just scheduled the appointment and then we never had time to get photos taken, so. I'm sorry, babe, but, you know, at least I'll still have the long hair, so. And then I'm gonna grow my beard out again, just not this long, so. We can do couples photos taken when I have a short beard and long hair. And I just got back home from my appointment. I am on, well, it's not really FaceTime because we use WhatsApp, but with my friend Mandy from the channel Project Wink. She's in Germany, <laughs> and I'm here in Vegas, <laughs> but. Yeah, I mean, they, I think they just need to move back to the States. What do you think, Mandy? You move back to the States? I agree. <laughs> so I'm gonna talk to her for a little bit and then get ready because we have Kyle's appointment coming up. So Kyle's on his way home from the VA appointment right now. I'm getting the car ready to go because as soon as he gets home, we have to leave for his appointment to get his beard shaved. Really crazy. I'm ready for it to go. But now it's like getting to that point where it's like, something major is happening, like a big life-changing event, because he's been growing it out for so long. And now, like, like the more you think about it, it's just like, man, I don't know how to explain it. It's just really weird. So I'm not gonna get emotional about Kyle shaving his beard if that's what you think, guys. No, 
but I haven't seen him without a beard in so long, just like you guys. So I'm definitely excited for that again. <sighs> yeah, let's do this. Ready to do this? Yeah, are you ready? Yeah, I'm ready. It's gonna be awesome. All right, let's go. <laughs> let's go! So this is George, hey, my barber, and we're gonna get rid of this whole thing right here. So uh, you haven't even seen me with the beard. Like the last time I saw you, you cut my hair, and it was short, and then he didn't, there was no beard. It was his first time seeing the beard, and he's getting rid of it. You're good. Ah. Oh yeah, I gotta get it all out there. How short is it? Well, Are you helping us? Yeah. Chase? Yeah. yeah. Chase, gone, gone. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, I think you want to still have a little bit. No, Not this. No. He'll grow it back out and yeah, then he'll keep it. Out. He'll keep it clean from there. But yeah. the first time we're going from all to nothing. Oh, <laughs> oh yeah. Thank you. <laughs> Yep, you're good. Yep, we're doing it. Yep. You seem like you're nervous to so just take it all away. No, He's like, I'm being know. sure that's what you want. <laughs> <laughs> Normally when people have a nice beer, they don't want to take them off. How's it feel? Feels good. <laughs> feel my face feels lighter. Woo, I look like a baby boy. This face is smooth, but now I got this double chin thing going on, so I'm gonna have to take care of that. It's so nice being able to hide it, huh? I know, right? I didn't ever have to worry about it or see it, but now I actually have to like work out or run to get rid of it <laughs> or just or just record from way up here so you guys can't see it. Overall, I'm I'm happy, I'm glad with it. I'm still excited to keep growing out my hair though. But yeah, it's gonna be nice to be able to have a short beard and be able to eat food and just, oh, get it all over my face and not have to worry. Cause then I can just wipe it off super easy. If I get it all over my face with my beard, it's like all up in my beard and then I gotta yeah, like wash my I beard. I would hope you wouldn't get it all over your face. Why not? See, when I eat and I get it on my face, I can just wipe it off. So I don't have to be like extra careful and like tedious when I eat. I don't have to worry about it. It's gonna be good. It's I'm like excited. me when I have lipstick on and I eat like this. Yeah, exactly. See, I don't have to do that no more. What I was telling McKenna is, is that I basically look like a hockey player now. All I need is to play hockey. So maybe that'll be in the cards the next few months. Maybe. Probably not. No. We're too big. We got so many other things going on. But the Golden Knights start this month so that's pretty legit so we're gonna be going to those games i'm super excited because it has been a long off season i'm ready for some hockey it feels so good to be able to do that and just have it be smooth like oh man it feels awesome because i'd always have like a bunch of pricklies coming down in my mouth now it's just it's so soft what do you guys think hey. do i look different this is what i looked like when i was in the air force just with short hair we're gonna stop by and see our friends we haven't seen Kyle since Turn his beard was shaved because he just got it done and we haven't sent anybody any pictures and we're gonna stop by so when we go up to the door Kyle like have your back facing them okay so when they open the door and then you turn around I'll record their reaction okay okay all right let's go keep your head down and your back too Hey, McKenna. <laughs> you, where's that? 
Oh my god, you look so much more like <laughs> Thor now. Yeah, there we go. You can be an actor, not really. Uh... Sometimes I wish I could. <laughs> Looks like I'm ready to go back to work. Mm. Carlos! <laughs> Carlos is like, I don't know what to think right now. Cool. I'm gonna grow That's so back funny. Back. I'm gonna grow it back out. So not just, just not as long. So this is Julian Carlos' first time seeing you without a beard because they met us when we got back from our trip. Meet you. Yeah. Yeah. Re I'm Kyle. Hey, what's up? Hi. Nice meeting you guys. This is crazy. Because what my beard would have been like, what, like four inches long probably, three or four inches long when they met me. Yeah, I don't remember. Holy smokes. Celebratory lunch day! McDonald's! Yup. I figured I'd have one last meal before I try to get rid of this double chin, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> I don't think we vlogged any of our food and we already ate it and we're getting ready to leave now because that's what happens when we're really hungry and we come in and get food. That's what's on our mind first. This guy, that's so nice. Thank you. Let's see if Mark is in here. Nope, okay. Let's see if he's in here. Okay. In here? No. Last one. Okay. We're good. He's not in the cupboards. Yay! Good thing. He likes to get in the cupboards. We just walked to the house, but I'm hoping that they're laying on the bed right now. <gasps> Mark! What's up? Hey, bud. You was pretty. So I was doing some research yesterday, and I think that Mark is a Russian blue, which would be pretty cool. I don't, I doubt he's a purebred, but because he was a rescue, but his paws are like a reddish color, his nose is black, and his eyes are green. I'm also color deficient, but McKenna says that his eyes are green. And that's pretty much, and then his coat, he's like all one color, like the gray. So, I mean, technically, he could be a, a Russian blue, which would be super unique. We might have to get a DNA test done to confirm that. He's so but, pretty. Yeah, he's a beautiful, beautiful cat. Super I, smart. Huh. I like the not beard. Why? It just looks so much better. What do you mean so much better? It looks so much better. That's what I mean. Carl, buddy. Kyle's a type when someone says something, he says, what do you mean? But it's like you literally just said what you mean. What do you mean? It looks so much better. What do you mean so much better? So it looks bad? It looks so much better without the hair. So it looked good before, but now it looks better. <laughs> <laughs> Carl, buddy. We missed you. So if any of you guys are cat experts and know anything about Russian blues, you should comment down below and let us know. But uh, I'm almost positive that he is Russian blue. But he might be a domestic shorthair because he's probably not purebred. But that's definitely like his genealogy goes back to that. So yeah, he's a pretty sweet looking cat. I've been so busy at work that we haven't had a chance to tell our neighbors everything that's been happening. So since we just got home, we're gonna run over there, talk to them a little bit, explain the whole movie, not moving situation. They're glad that we're not moving though. Yeah, I know, they didn't want us to leave. Doreen said Lou threatened all of the uh, all the buyers that came to look <laughs> at the house because he didn't want us to leave. He would be that like mean neighbor. Yeah. You don't want to live here. I said when we build uh, cabinets up in the closet I was like I'm just gonna use all the loose stuff anyways because he does like woodwork and everything because he already has all the equipment oh, no, no no he has all the equipment so I'm just gonna use it all, all right, but he always tells me he's like hey if you need tools just come over and grab them so I'm like all right cool 